In this video, I'm gonna to show you how to create a token server for your Agora app or your application. In the end of this video, you are going to have JSON response like this. If you are building a video chat or voice chat application with Flutter and Agora, you must wondering how to create a token server for each user if you are going to publish your application in the store or in the real app situation. And I know it's so difficult to understand it because you are a mobile developer, not a back-end developer. And for that, I'm going to show you the easiest way that you can do this. So here in my video chat screen, in the init Agora, a function here in the any state first we are gonna to call this function and in the end of this function we are going to call a join channel which require a token and this token saved here in your project with a temporary token and we need to get a new token for each user like this so in the end of this video you are going to have json response like this so you can get this response and convert it to a map or something to use or to fetch this token from here by calling this url you are getting this token and to do that we are gonna to use a go language and don't worry this tutorial is for completely beginners you don't need to know anything you just go to this repo here in my github account i will put the link in the description all you need is create a repo in your github account and clone these files in your account but before you do this open main.go and go here and you have to update your app id and your app certificate from here like this and i'm gonna to show you how and to you know that uh, everything is so easy i made it for you e so easily so you can complete your application and publish it and deploy it in your google play or app store so okay uh, here we are gonna to use a primary certificate and secondary certificate you should enable both of them and after that you have to copy the primary certificate and you shouldn't use my data so i'm gonna deploy it and after that you go going to commit a change all that you are going to do in your repo so you're going to go to your github account and your profile and create a new repository here just new and choose uh, the name of it and you can make it by private or public it doesn't matter of course don't to forget to make your application is alive not just testing and save the configuration of your agora application here now this is the code how we are going to publish it we need it to be online so we are going to use heroco.com to just publish our server online You're just going to make an account sign up and make your account and create a new application or a new project we can call it test one two three it's not available okay test okay flutter dot dmk i'm ramahib by the way and this channel is going to teach you flutter tips and for beginners as you know ram you learn okay create an app after that you have to connect to your github account and then after you do this it's going to show you an authentication page and after you finish this you go to here to your your repository and get the link of it and put it here and search for this repo say it's not found okay sorry just the name of the repo and connect it to this repo it says connected to the green color and after that you have to deploy your branch if you have an issue here please leave any comment and i'm gonna to help you with that please wait it's not just finished it's in installing go version 1.18 it's going to take some time don't worry i'm gonna to pause this video as you see here it's still loading it didn't finish yet just wait okay now it's deployed to heroku and it's successfully deployed okay you can view your link here of your server but what we have to do is go to your code and to get the base url that you are going to use in your application and and if you go down here you will find this link here this is your base url so go here and paste it make sure to put a slash here rtc and your channel name room name and the rule is publisher and the token name is going to be a user account and any uid and if you go to this link, you have a JSON respond. And that we are gonna to use, decode it and get this value here, which is a token. So what you are gonna to need here is this link, go to your project and you can add here, new variable with base URL. 
and you can delete this and this data you are gonna to get from your classes as a channel id and publisher or a subscriber and this is a user account or just a guest and all this data is here in this code you don't need to understand it but you free to go read all of this and search even for a publisher and see the data about the role of the publisher and if not if he is a subscriber and you can read all of this code you can also so get this data here from Agora documentation in the basic features authentications or authenticate your users with a token you can open this and you will find the whole links and the whole data and what you are going to do if you are going to make an offline server but this way that you are going to deploy it on a server i know this tutorial is not existing in youtube and if you find some tutorials going to be hard to understand so i try to make it simple for you so if i miss something or something you don't understand or you don't get please leave a comment i will be so happy to respond for your questions and help you more with that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel this is going to be a huge pleasure for me to join my family thank you for watching bye